cool. So the question I want to talk about is how can you reach maximum water speed? Because there is a way in sailing that you can sail faster than the wind, which is pretty cool. So I'll explain how to do that. So you have this boat, this little uh, cat boat here. <laughs> um, looks like this from Step the top. one, get a fast boat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Some kid actually, he was in that off of um, like uh, Nantucket or something, and he, there was a hurricane coming, and to avoid it, he, he couldn't get back in because it was, it was coming up the coast. He couldn't get back. He just sailed all the way to Portugal. What? In a little cat boat. Casual. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> <laughs> Not three years ago. He had food on board. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> all right. This is, this is your boom and sail. That little circle is the mast. This is the hull. And this is the rudder. From the top. Um, cool. So here we get math in here. So if you're going, going this way, you got acceleration pushing against your sail. The initial wind velocity is coming in. This way, and that's represented by V with a subscript I. Your boat speed is obviously going forward, and your final wind velocity is what comes out at the end of your end of your sail. And, uh, if you can make a little diagram, the change in the wind velocity, that's your acceleration, that's where your acceleration comes from, and then uh, your initial wind velocity is coming this way, and your final wind velocity is coming off the back. Or, it can look like that. Forward force, and then you have your non-forward movement, which is the, the wind hitting uh, perpendicular, hitting your sail. And then uh, your total lift force, which is um, you, what you'll see is the um, the wind speed plus the apparent wind. <coughs> That's not what I want. Um, all right, so if you have this sideways force, the question is, how come you don't slide sideways? And that's because of the keel, which is the, uh, it provides this downward, there's a weight uh, at the bottom of the keel, which keeps you from, from flipping. So you have this uh, this lateral force that's pushing against the sail, which wants to make your boat tilt. But then you have the relative force of the keel, which brings it back into the center. And that's where you get your speed. So it's if you tilt, the more you tilt, the less of the rudder is in the water, and uh, therefore the less lateral force you get from that. So tilt is bad. Some people think it's good. And then you have your points of sail. And uh, so if the wind's coming down here, you obviously can't sail into the wind. Um, and the fastest point of sail is somewhere between a beam reach and a broad reach right in here. Um, so like a, a 60, between 45 and 60 degree angle, um, you sail to the wind. So my question is, if the wind's coming, which well, the fa that's the fastest point of sail, how come? And it's because if you're going straight downwind, um, you have the wind the actual wind coming in and hitting your sail, and then you also have what's called relative wind. But in this situation, the relative, the relative wind is not having any effect at all. Um, you're just getting the force from, from the actual wind. So if you're going, if the wind speed is 10 knots and the boat's going 6 knots, you're not using the, well, the relative speed. But if we come down here, and you're on this uh, between beam reach and broad reach, the wind's coming in this way, the relative wind is pushing you forward even more. And uh, with those vector angles, uh, the wind speed, which is still 10 knots, the relative wind can be much higher, and therefore the boat speed is, is, is faster. So in conclusion, the faster the boat goes, the more relative wind is generated, the more force is exerted on the sails, which just keeps making you go faster until the resistance from the water uh, or slow you down so that the drag balances the forward force, and that's when you top out. <laughs>